With Ford Broncos now starting to become an increasingly common sight on the roads of North America, Ford has begun to release some special editions. So far, we've seen the outrageous performance-focused Bronco Raptor, a 400 horsepower dune buggy with a roof and enough suspension to take on the Baja. This time, however, things are a little slower paced with this, the Bronco Everglades. Exclusively available to those who are already on the infamously long Bronco waiting list, the Everglades, as its name suggests, takes its inspiration from the grassy wetlands of Florida. And while it looks good driving through marshes and winching airboats, it's been designed to be comfortable just about anywhere. It builds on the existing Sasquatch package available on standard Broncos, which includes 35-inch tires with 17-inch beadlock alloy wheels, front and rear locking diffs, and some meaty Bilstein suspension. The Everglades adds to this already impressive kit list with even more off-road goodies. Perhaps the most obvious addition is the enormous winch. It's a worn Xeon 10S that's capable of winching up to four and a half tons, easily enough to drag yourself out if you get stuck. Happily though, that scenario seems unlikely. As well as the big tires and lifted suspension, the Everglades also comes with a snazzy snorkel that lets the engine breathe in harsh conditions. It can be adjusted to suit the type of environment you're driving through, be that deep water or a dusty desert plain. To help the Everglades edition stand out from regular Broncos, it gets some unique stylish tweaks. The grille is painted grey with black lettering and it also comes as standard with rock rails, bash plates and a safari bar that are functional as well as stylish. It also gets some bespoke squared off wheel arches and some tasteful Everglades topography graphics on the front wings. It's available in a variety of special colours as well with rugged names like Eruption Green, Area 51, Cactus Grey and desert sand as shown here. Inside, it's pretty much business as usual with hose down rubber floor mats, marine grade vinyl seats and the enormous 12 inch SYNC 4 infotainment system. The only Everglades exclusive differences are some green accents on the grab handles, air vents and stitching. Under the bonnet, it gets the regular 2.3-litre EcoBoost four-cylinder with a respectable 300 horsepower hooked up to a 10-speed auto box. It is a boxy, rugged, all-American 4x4 then, but it isn't the only one. The current Jeep Wrangler has been around for a while now, but it's no less impressive than it was when it debuted in 2018. Like the Bronco, you can take off various body panels and there are numerous trim levels to choose from. Perhaps the most exciting version though is this, the Rubicon 392. From the outside, it looks like any other high-spec Wrangler, but lurking on the bonnet is a 6.4-litre Hemi V8. With 450 horsepower on tap, the 392 can get from 0 to 60 in just 4.5 seconds. That's fast by any standards. In fact, it's Mercedes G63 territory. Jeep even says the 392 will do the quarter mile in just 13 seconds. But don't think that all this extra poke means the 392 is shying away from its off-roading routes. Far from it. In fact, it's even more trail-ready than the standard car. The ride height has been increased by 51 millimeters and there's a special air induction system to improve its wading capabilities. There are also some massive knobbly tyres as standard, as well as the Wrangler's usual array of off-roading driving modes. So, whatever your needs might be, from the dependable ability of the Ford Bronco Everglades to the muscle car soundtrack of the Jeep, it seems that Defenders and G-Wagons are not necessarily the obvious choices anymore.